Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and good afternoon to Madam Fadila binti Zainal. Today, we going to present to you about the spa tourism. Before that, let me introduce our presenter from class HM 2413C, which are Nur Ain Izafitri binti Nong Azmi, Eli Najla binti Mat Darus, Nur Najha binti Muhammad Zabidi, Mary Lenjin, Last but not least is me, Nur Emma Shalia binti Zukairan. So now, let's the first slide begin. Allow me to introduce myself again. My name is Naima Shalia binti Zukairan. So today I'm going to present about introduction and spa tourism. Before we go through one by one about our topics, let me show you the key topics first. The first one is introduction, second is patriotism, next is current trends and marketing, challenges and issue in operating spa and next is recommendation and the last one is conclusion. Alright, let's go to the first section. The term of wellness tourism is one of the tourism products which is overhead in the industry since it's become the second biggest contributor for national economy under the tourism sector. Now this wellness tourism in Malaysia not only include the heart treatments but also include the spa and fitness aspect. There are various tourism products have been offered to meet the many interests and demands of trees. There are many types of tourism under the wellness such as medical tourism, cosmetic tourism, traditional tourism, yoga tourism and also include the spa tourism. Alright, let's go to the next slide. Okay, the spa tourism is a part of wellness tourism in which the experience involves health improvement activities using the water-based treatment. Spa tourism recently has become a marketing strategy for attracting tourists. It has played an important role in tourism industry of hotels, resorts, and tourist destinations. As we can see, a local and international tourists are more preferred to go to the spa service. Most people are visit spa mainly for really stress or pressure at work. There are many motivations for tourists to visit such as seek for mental peacefulness and seek for physical relaxation. There are eight types of spa which are day spa, resorts or hot spa, destination, medical spa, club spa, mineral springs, cruise ship and cosmetics. Okay, that's all from me and I will pass to the next presenter which is Nur Ain Iza. Thank you Emma for a great introduction. My name is Ain Iza and I will continue to explain about the current trends of spa tourism. There are four current trends of uh, spa tourism. Number one is a chemical free spa. Tourism industry has decided to implement the sustainable practice within the industry including spa. In spa, they use a natural remedies to avoid uh, the customer from getting a bad effect. Number two is a multi Generational wellness health is now considered a family-wide affair. There, this day, uh, there are children-friendly spa that are available in wellness resort. It comes with a specifically designed therapist. Number three is a, a transformative uh, wellness travel, a journey that challenges people at a profoundly individual level, generating emotions through the powerful storytelling medium. Uh, guests are likely to experience an active, long and nature roaming journey uh, which include uh, circuit hiking, meditation and treatment. Last but not least is Man Health Spa. This day, men, men want to feel those experiences that women do. Hence, there is supply of men health. The famous one of Man Heart Spa is the Golden Door at California. That's all for my part. Ellie will continue the next slide. Thank you. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Ellie Najla binti Madurus 
for my part, I would like to present about the challenges and issue in spa tourism industry. Basically, there are three challenges, uh, three type of challenges uh, available, which are operational issues, managerial issues, and also sustainable issues. Now, I would like to explain about the first issue available in this industry, which is the operational issues. In the operational issues, I found two issues related to the operational, which is technology and the rising demand for men. So, we move on to the uh, first point, which is technology. In the spa tourism, technology is very important to serve the best and quality service to the customer and uh, in, uh, and promoting the business itself. So for the spa tourism industry, uh, the important thing in technology is spa equipment and machinery and also the internet itself. So for the spa equipment and machinery, we know that spa always use machine, a lot of machine in the spa. So, it is important for the owner or for the manager to invest more money to get or to buy uh, the machine for the spa. That is the first challenge. The second challenge for the technology is the internet. As we know, internet is always and keep rising uh, every year. So, this can be challenge for the spa industry to promote the business and uh, give by giving the information to the customer through the internet because we know that nowadays uh, there are advanced technology in the internet can found every year people nowadays also uh, always and keep scrolling through uh, their gadgets to get new information so this can be challenge for the spa to creatively give the information to the customer and it is challenge for the spa industry to keep updating their information through the internet. For the second point in the operational issues is rising demand for men. People nowadays start to realize their health and beauty, especially for men. Because we know that most of the, the target customer of the spa in this industry usually is a woman over 50 that age that their age is over 50. According to the Journal of Staying in the Spa Marketing Game, Trends, Challenges, Strategies and Techniques. There are examples of the spa that provide service for men. There are a lot of examples which are, for example, Singapore Best Based Raffles International Amrita Spa which uh, provides for gentlemen's facial and the second example is Spa Fusion and Health Club at the Hilton in San Francisco. However, there are still least number of spa that are available for men. Now we move on to the second type of issue which is managerial issue. Managerial issue always related to the employee and manager itself because it related within in the company itself. So there are one issue that I found which is lack of skills. Skills, everyone everyone needs skills whether he is manager or he is uh, the employee, everyone needs skills in the spa tourism. So I want to read about the skills, example of skills in the spa tourism itself. For the first skill is customer skills, customer service skills, communication skills, self-management skills, sales, security, hygiene, and the important thing is therapeutic skills. Okay, spa need a lot of skills. As we know, spa use a lot of skill to serve the service to the customer. Those skills that I read before will help company to stay in the long term. Now we move on to the third issue, which is sustainable issue. In the sustainable issue, it is related on how the company or the firm can maintain the, their business in this industry. So, in this issue, there are two issues that I found, which is evolution of the sector and service quality become becoming inconsistent. So, we go to the first point, which is evolution of the sector. Evolution of the sector is related 
to the growing of the spa in this industry because of the demand if uh, if this sector is keep growing in this industry there are a lot of competitors in the industry and the remain in the remain spa is have this problem because they need to compete with other uh, people know that spa is the luxurious place for rich people only most of rich people have their own high income so they can afford to uh, pay for the service but if this problem is happen there are possible for the remain spa to make their business into budget spa that suitable for the lower income people uh, if they take this action they maybe uh, cannot get the revenue and profit that they earn before because this point is very related to the next point which is service quality is becoming inconsistent okay uh, there are two factors that influence this problem which are goals of company is not clear and the second one is doesn't enjoy working so we go to the first factor which is goals of company is not clear this always happen uh, within the organization itself and it happened with the employee itself the staff itself because some of the employee or staff doesn't care about the goals of the organization they just care uh, they need money everyone money is important for them they don't get the goals of the organization so they will work insincerely the second factor is doesn't enjoy working again this related to the managerial issues which is workers and managers maybe maybe the manager does not give any reward and they don't have any motivation the employees need reward or need some reward at least some reward for them to get motivation and to get positive vibes to work another day so for the sustainable issue for these factors the spa or the company or the organization itself cannot remain or cannot maintain in the industry because of the service quality is keep decreasing so that's all from me for challenges and issue in this industry uh, now i would like to let uh, nurul najah binti muhammad zabidi to continue the presentation thank you well thank you miss ali hi assalamualaikum my name is nurul najiha and i'll be the next presenter just now miss ali has pointed out a few issues and challenges about spa tourism therefore now i'm going to discuss on the recommendations in order to overcome the challenges the first recommendation is technology advancement to promote spa tourism in this modern era it is easier to promote things for example, creating a website or social media pages or even digital advertisement. Providing and updating information are one of the effective ways to reach larger audience. When promoting something, people will find out about it. Therefore, they might be persuaded or convinced to start going to spa and take care of themselves more. Next, hiring more male employees. Since the demand for male since the demand for males are increasing, management should hire more male employees. Most, most spas usually only have female workers. Making females being in charge of males, male customers or vice versa might cause unwanted things to happen. Besides, some people might find uncomfortable being served by the opposite gender. Therefore, it is a good idea to have male employees in charge of male customers. The third recommendation is to provide sufficient training for staff. As we all know, services provided in spas require special skills and experiences. Therefore, the management should train their staff with proper knowledge and the right skills. This is to make sure tourists experience high quality service and it can also lower the risk of unwanted accidents that could happen during the process. Hence, training and supervising a highly qualified team with specific skills will help to deliver high quality services. Next, providing special deals. Operating spas should take into consideration about providing special deals or any kind of offers for customers. 
this may not only pick the interest of many but can attract but can attract more people into going to the spa. For example, providing service at a discounted rate for the first timers. Customers will be more interested in something when deals are offered. Lastly, boosting motivation by rewards and awards. By giving out rewards, workers will be more motivated to do their work. For instance, a reward for employee of the month. It helps to boost the motivations among the staff. Besides, it encourages them to work hard. The result of the work hard would lead to upgrade the service quality provided by the staff. Hence, the satisfaction of spa tourists resulting to, resulting to good feedbacks and boost the spa tourism industry. That's all for my part and I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. Currently, Worldwide was facing a pandemic outbreak which is called the coronavirus pandemic that originated from the Wuhan, Hubei province. The virus has greatly affected tourism industry, including spa tourism worldwide and in Malaysia. However, Senior Minister of Security and Defence Minister, Datuk Seri Ismail Sabri Yaakob, has recently announced that spas, wellness and reflexology centres are allowed to resume business starting 1st of July. As conclusion on prior to the growth of spa tourism, from the assignment that we have done is, in Malaysia, spa tourism has shown a really great potential growth as Mata has collaborated with Association of Malaysian Spas back in 2019 in further to strengthen the wellness and spa tourism future in Malaysia. According to Mata President Datuk Tan Kok Liang, wellness tourism, which includes spa tourism, is the fastest growing travel sector globally and Malaysia is listed in the top 10 wellness tourism markets in Asia Pacific. Therefore, even though pandemic has struck the world right now, we believe that our spa tourism sector is recovering just fine. As according to Datuk Seri Ismail Sabri Yaakob, said that Malaysia has been recognized as among the five nations in the world to have succeeded in controlling the spread of COVID-19. As the saying goes, when it rains, look for rainbows, and when it dark, look for stars, which perfectly depict there are hope and optimism in every bad situation that we face. Thank you.